As you use your LG television in normal viewing, there is a hidden secret timer that counts the number of hours that you have been using your LG television. Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I'm going to show you how to find that secret menu and how to reset it. This is a continuation of the LG service remote control tutorials. If you have never seen this remote control, I would suggest that you check the video description below for a playlist of the same. I will also post the playlist in the end screens at the end of this video. Now, to access the secret menu, we are going to use the Instart button. And if you remember, the password is 0413. So, you press Instart. The password is 0413. The total usage time is printed here, over here. But this figure is false because a few videos ago in the LG service remote playlist, I showed you how to use the Instop button. It is this Instop button that costs a reset in the total usage time over here. Now, this is a digital television and I'm going to show you the same same process on a smart television. In the Instart menu, we are going to come to System 1 by using the down navigation button on the remote control. From here, I'm going to use the right button to enter into System 1. At number 12 over here, we have UTT reset. The UTT reset in System 1 of Instart usually resets the total usage time of the television. And I'm going to reset it. The change has already occurred. Now, let us go to the smart television. Now, this is a smart television and the password to enter into the Instart menu is exactly the same. Now we are going to come to System 1. And we can see UTT reset is number 11. So I'm going to enter into System 1 so that I can come to number 11. Remember the other TV, it was at number 12. So the main thing is to check for UTT reset. Over here, the UTT reset is grayed out. This means that in this television, the UTT time cannot be reset. Also, this does not mean that this method does not work on all smart televisions. I know for a fact that this method does work on some smart televisions. It's just that this model does not work. To go back from this menu, I'm going to use the same button that I started with, which is the Instart button. And exit. But is there any good reason to do this? Personally, i let you be the judge. The first reason why I will do this is after I have fixed the backlight. Take a look at this photo. This television failed at around 9,000 hours. And I would like to know how long the spare part I have used will last in this television. Is that a good reason? Take a look at this other television. This one failed at around 14,000 hours. This is very good considering that backlight usually failed at around 10,000 hours. I replaced the backlight on this television too and I would like to know how long it will last before I replace it again. Generally, I give it around 4 to 5 years. So I would like to know how long the spare part that I have used will last. Is that a good reason? The second reason I would reset the timer on my television is when I have replaced the motherboard from another television. I don't want that television data to be imported into my television. So what I will do is that I will do an install so that I start off from a clean slate. The third reason will be after I replace the screen. I would like to know how long the screen that I have replaced with will last. Those are my reasons. Do you think they are good reasons? If not, tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video and goodbye.